Good day. Welcome to my channel, Ken's Hobbies. My name is Ken Lind. I'm going to make a little bit of a different video here today. Uh, I do a lot of video work here. I've been doing videos for several years now and making a collection for when I retire that they can enjoy watching, especially a lot of these older TV shows. <laughs> So what I'm going to show you today is how you can take an old TV show and we're going to use the Beverly Hillbillies as the example. When the Beverly Hillbillies played and aired, it was on our old style TVs which had a 4-3 ratio. And this was long before 169 HD came out. HD standing for high definition. So now with our monitors and our TVs at 16-9 ratio, I'm going to show you how, and I've experimented for several years to find a way on how to convert a 4-3 ratio to a 16-9 ratio without losing any of the picture. And I'll show you a few examples as I go of what I am explaining and talking about here. First of all, the program that I use, you can download it on there. But I will have to say this. Not all updates are perfect, especially if you've got to find yourself a program that you've got to become to love and use a lot. Now, in the case of this videos, I used to do it the hard way before a program, a converting program, was came out for uh, converting videos. How I used to convert them, the old fashioned way before these, any programs came out was, I used to make a DVD out of the show using Nero 7. Then I had a program called DVD Ripper. So then I'd re-rip that DVD at a 16-9 ratio. Well, that was partially okay but the problem is it cut the top half off and the bottom half off or I should say actually about a quarter and uh, if you had a documentary that had writing on the bottom well you lost off your writing The Scandinavian Star, a ferry cruise ship that carries thousands of passengers and vehicles safely across the seas for nearly two decades. So, a friend of mine down in the States introduced me to a very good program and I've been using it since 2008. The program for this converter is called Any Video Converter. AVC. Let's say it once more. Any video converter. Now, the first edition, it was very hard to use because it was very hard to see. Now, with this program, you have all kinds of formats that you can convert a video to. You can convert it to whatever you want. However, I will say this, the version I use and the last version that will do this trick to convert a 4.3 video properly to a 16.9 ratio 
is version 7.1.6. I, I had an update notice and I updated it. I went to try out my next one and no way would the new version do like I have done for the last five years. That's why I thought I'm going to make a video to show you how to do this and what to use and how to use it. That being said, let's get at it. So what I've done, I've pre-prepared my computer so we can start right from the beginning. Like I said, the version you want is AVC, that's any video converter, version 7.1.6. I'll write it down even for you so you have it. Okay, so I'm going to give me a minute and I'll reset the camera so we get it focused on the monitor. I don't know how good this will work, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to lower my monitor a little bit. Well, that made a big difference. Okay, I think you should be able to see most of that right there. Let's square it up a bit here. And we can go just a touch higher. Don't think I'll get it any better than that. Well, probably I could. Let's just touch it up a little bit. Well, that. I want to get this as exact as I can. But the best I'm going to get it right there. So I got an example showing on the screen another program here. This was also a program back in the early days of the old TVs for three ratio. So if you're downloading any, I'm using sonar to get these TV shows. Okay, so I said earlier on I'd use Beverly Hills at least, but I got this already set here. So we'll use this Gomer Pile USMC. I just downloaded one episode here. We call this episode is Specs is called My Fair Sister, and it was in season five, episode number twenty-nine. We'll close that. That's just for the information. So it is now downloaded because it shows me right here that it is already downloaded to my folder where I save it. So let's go to my folder where I saved it and I just recently changed my hard drive uh, letters around so I gotta think for a second so bear with me uh, new PR downloads uh, okay there we see Gomer file right here and when I learned the file manager it's always left right your left being all your directories, your right being your path name. Uh, okay, Gomer Pyle, here we are. And there's our episode right there, what we want. That's the episode, as you can see by the thumbnail, that's in a 4-3 ratio. I'm going to quickly open it up so you can begin to see, using my media player, use a large screen full screen now you see the black bar here and the black bar here here's a good example you can use this as your guide that little TV information uh, pay attention where the uh, name is and the distance of the sergeant's crest on his sleeve okay there was another example right there where he walked in with the bag in his hand Okay, we'll close that out there, and now you can see a little wave pattern here on the top. Well, I'll show you how we can get, because this would be taken off of a VCR. Okay, so we'll close that off now. Now, the next thing we want to install are any video converter. Now, this file happened to download. Let's have a look. It's 
what it is that we downloaded it it as if we move this over it'll give us our information or kid and it didn't okay so we can go to properties go to our details and no that's not right general okay this happened to uh, download it as an ADI there it tells us right there type of file video clip AVI so that's another beauty about this any video converter it does not matter what format it is so that there now let's go back to my install folder and I'm going to reinstall my AV, AVC so the first thing let's get our AVC installed Just close that window off. Which window was it? it? Must have been that one. Come back here and we'll click finish. Okay, I got my shortcut here. I'm using Windows 11, of course. Now, you see it says ins install update. Well, I did, and now I'm just going to click cancel. Now we got three arrows here one here one here one here all to get rid of these all you have to do is click on that arrow that's just your guidance now up here is our drop lots and there we have our list of whatever you want to convert it to so this little clip is how I you can choose whatever you want you can use your iPhone here you can choose Windows uh, here or, as you can see for each one you have a list there Tip different brands down here so you have your choice I love my videos where it's not a hard drive hog so I convert them and I stay with the AVI format so now we're going to click the customized AVI movie click that now we're going to pre set this Okay, a 16-9 ratio, and it's on the internet, you can see it. As I said, I don't like to have a hard drive hog. You can make a 16-9 video that does not rob the hard drive, and that's why I have the perfect saying for, and presently, the newest format going called MKV. Well, I call it Media Killer Video because it kills your hard drives with a hard drive hog some mp4s do that too so how to get triple the amount of videos saved on your computer is by using ABI and the quality is just as good I have arguments right left and center with this over and over again this program does help there and it's improved there's a few new features that's been added to it but the thing is with these four three when you want to do what I'm going to show you it won't do it so the first thing we want when we look the ratio up on the internet and our lowest point where we can go is 640 by 360 so we click this gear and we manually type 640 here in this box and we type 360 in this box now we have our 169 ratio set click on the check mark now under video options video bit rate at present is 2000 well I love to use the 1024 and it compresses it even a little bit more so again it saves you on hard drive space allowing you to get more videos so now that that's all set we're ready to uh, oh there's a few more settings I just about forgot we come up now to this top gear here in the top bar and we click on it and let's go to the miscellaneous okay on the where you see the check marks right now at present we don't want to add the video codec at the end of the name of the file 
we don't want to check for updates so we take the check marks out of there leaving the other two now we come over to the video and here is the secret you come to the video tab click on it now you see the two check marks on the left side here one says fit to width and one says fit to height well to familiarize you again width is this direction this is your height this is what determines your 4.3 and your 16.9 width and height we take take the check mark off the width or else it'll chop the top and chop the bottom off that video and put a check mark to fit the height that is critical after doing it the hard way it took me years and I, this was the best best of the best that I have ever come across and I love it and that's why I stay with it so now we got all our settings set we'll click OK now we'll come over to that video and you have a little cropping to do you have to do it two times most of the time because this particular one's a uh, AVI to begin with we're going to experiment and see if it will work on the first shot so we have our file ready now we're just going to drag and drop it into the frame here now if you have a lot of videos and you don't uh, download a video and it's got subtitles you have a little drop box here that you can click no no subtitle or you can click add subtitle if you want to put a subtitle into it okay as I said this is how it works this where you see the green line here is at its present state this on this side will be what it'll be like when you crop it now as we can see this is the reason why we have to do it two times so we're going to click let it convert wrong one while it's converting I'm going to pause the camera and give me another coffee okay our video is converted so now we'll do our final steps on it for our settings first of all you want to tell where you want to put the file in my case oh click the browse on I don't keep it on D drive I or C drive which is your operating drive I put it downloads I have a folder and I put an icon so it's easy for me to find I put a changed icon on the folder and I called it download I'll click OK then I'll here it's we have a choice I leave the check mark here automatically open the output folder after converting is finished you'll see why in a second why I leave that check mark there so we'll click OK now we've got it all set so now we'll oh by the way I did a test here I updated one version higher and I found the last one while well, it was converting on there I'm going to post the link down down below of where you can get the version that is this this is we'll go here for a minute we'll go to this question mark I'm going to go about as you can see this is version 7.1.8 so this is what you want okay let's go to the video and we've got it here preset and oops yeah, getting behind on myself here that uh, I think I said that that was already done so we'll just check it if you remember I said it a download so AV AVI automatically drops whatever format is into a, another folder below it so in other words this would be your directory and this would be the subdirectory so we'll go to AVI and we'll see that it it didn't uh, do it there because I forgot to do that setting so we were I was right in the first place we'll start again so we'll put it there and we'll do 
number one. Remember I said you got to do this twice because the first time you do it, it does it to the way the video originally downloaded it. And you want to make that change. So this is why I use the XVID codec in order to do the changes you want for the final result. As you can see, it's at 30, what does that say, 37% already. So just pause this again. Okay, I'm back and as we can see, our video is converted. It opened the box up, showing the new location. So we just come over here and we'll just click no thanks on here. Now comes the magic part. That file we just converted, right there, we put it back on here. So as you can see now in the thumbnail, it's pretty close to the same as our original. But AVI does have different Kodaks that it uses. That's the reason for a two-step here. Because we've got to convert it to the XVID in order to do the magic. So, this is our, what we call the crop button. Now, this is the beauty about this. You watch this side of the screen. This is what you will see when the completion is. Now as you see this green bar here, you see it's at the top and the bottom. Remember I said about the little lines on top? Well if we bring our top one down, we can get rid of that little flutter. So I didn't lose hardly any of the video. Just enough to get that wiggle out, as you can see in this, no more wiggle here. Now we'll slide this sign over. Oops, make sure you take this check mark out here because you want to keep that there. This is my other system, So you want to keep that at the bottom. And we want to get rid of that wave at the top. We don't care about wanting this little portion. But getting back here, we bring this bar to the edge of that video. Now if you see it widen on this side. Now we take the same thing on this side and we drag it to the edge there. Now you can see our new format. There's our 4.3. There's our new 16.9. So all we have to do now is click OK and click Convert. And you're done. Once it's there, I'll show you the difference between the two clips. As you see, it just popped the wind up saying it's completed. Again, we just click no thanks here. OK. This is the version before we before we did any modifications. That's what you had. Black bar here. Black bar here. Okay. Now we'll show you the new format. No more black bar. And you have one full screen at 16.9. As you can see, our TV guide here, perfectly in there. Nothing in the top other than that wavy line that was previously there out. That is how you convert from 4.3 to 16.9. The Scandinavian Star, a ferry cruise ship that carries thousands of passengers and vehicles safely across the seas for nearly two decades. Now, if you remember earlier on, I mentioned your cell phone is also 16.9 screen. I've got it hooked up to my computer. I didn't want to show you. I'm going to take that file. We can delete this one now because we don't want it. And we'll just keep this one. This was its air date here. That's at the end here. And I like to put it there because I get confused at numbers so I'll put the month because it when it downloads the program it get, puts it by year month and day so I put the month in because I get confused on that all the time and that's why I do this so we're going to write April here with the space and the proper way of doing it 25th like it was taught when I was in school with a comma at the end and over here 
which is another thing about our since the computers come and a good example June and July when I was in school we taught this four I think it was four yeah four or five we'll start with four four months of the calendar year that you do not do an abbreviation to that's May June July oh yeah April so it's April May June and July you do not abbreviate and here's a good reason remember our vowels a e i o u and sometimes y well the way the computer does because when it works on ones and twos it calls the month of june as john instead of june same with july that's jol instead of july september was the other month of the calendar year where you had four letters in it with the s e p t dot and you only get a set out of the computer so I got that written there now we're gonna go to my we're gonna put that file onto my the foot cell phone so we gotta go this PC I'm still used to XP so it still takes me a second or two to uh, look at this and remember where I'm at uh, my cell phone there it is right there it's a Galaxy A03 drop the box here we'll drop the box here and we go to DCIM where it says camera we're going to drag that file over to our camera file now the file is going on my cell phone ok to verify it there it is right there Okay, so let's now grab my phone here. We'll go to the gallery, and there it is right there. So we'll put it there, and when we turn our phone there, there we have it. Now here's another good example of why I say when you're doing videos with the cell phone this is the position you want the cell phone in when doing videos. Playing that video when you turn the phone there how small is that picture now? Well that's the same thing as if you took the damn video that way instead of that way. Okay. Now I'm not going to keep that file on the phone I just want to show you. So we're going to delete that picture, if I can remember how. Uh, no, we don't want to set Oh, there's our recycled bin garbage can right there. Move to trash. So we just got rid of that picture. Okay, we're done. So that is how you can even transfer your favorite videos from your computer to your cell phone or vice versa. And there you have it that is how you convert a 4-3 video ratio to a 16-9 ratio without losing any of the information any names or as I showed you in that top square the uh, uh what the heck was it called there uh, oh it's on the tip of my tongue the little black box that say PG of the, or uh, parental garden rating or something like that so I hope you liked that video and uh, my explanation of how to convert a 4.3 video to a 16.9 video and like I said I will post the link below where you can get obtain uh, AVC any video converter version remember it's version 7.1.8 thank you very much hope you like what you saw and enjoy what you do thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one adios